Incoming transmission standby, welcome to the Nod News Network. Foreign policy should be led by government, not by a billionaire, Elizabeth Warren said. U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren has called on Congress to investigate Elon Musk for his refusal to allow Ukraine to attack the Russian naval fleet in Crimea. Despite Washington's condemnation, Musk still defended his decision to cut satellite services to the Ukrainian military. Congress needs to investigate what happened here and whether we have the right tools to ensure that foreign policy is run by the government and not by a billionaire, Warren said with reporters at the U.S. Capitol on Monday. Musk and other big tech CEOs are scheduled to meet with U.S. lawmakers on Wednesday to discuss artificial intelligence. However, the subject of the hearing was overshadowed by news that Musk intervened last year to prevent six Ukrainian Navy drones from attacking Russian ships in the Crimean port of Sevastopol. Ukraine's military has used SpaceX's Starlink satellite internet service for communication and guidance since the start of the conflict with Russia. When Musk learned the drones were en route to Sevastopol, he ordered SpaceX engineers to stop service within a 100-kilometer radius of the Russian peninsula, CNN reported on Thursday. Thursday, citing the billionaire's forthcoming biography. As a result, the drones lost connection and landed harmlessly, the report stated. Ukraine's Minister of Digital Transformation, Mikhail Fedorov, then begged Musk to reactivate the signal via SMS, but Musk refused. If I accept their request, then SpaceX is complicit in a major act of war and an escalation of the conflict, the billionaire explained last week, adding that he never authorized the attack. Operate services near Crimea. Musk's explanation sparked outrage in Kiev, as the president's top aide, Vladimir Zelensky, accused the SpaceX CEO of doing evil. In the United States, CNN host Jake Tapper on Sunday claimed that Musk had effectively sabotaged a U.S. ally and asked U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken if he would face consequences result for stopping the attack or not. Blinken refused to condemn Musk, but some members of Congress spoke out against the billionaire. Senate Armed Services Committee Chairman Jack Reed told reporters on Monday that Musk cannot have the final say on national security. At the time of the failed attack, Musk was sponsoring Ukraine's access to the Starlink network. The Pentagon has stepped in to partially fund the program, and Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall said Monday that future contracts between the military and private companies like SpaceX will likely include ensure that these technologies can be used for offensive purposes. This has been the Nod News Network, transmission complete.